Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review and comparison of O-ring and automotive picks. Although these are the types of tools that could be used for a variety of crafts and projects, they're actually pretty darn handy. And we have a variety of brands, from some cheaper IITs to some Napas, we've got Tectons, we've got Craftsman's, we've got uh, US General, and then we have some Harbor Freight tools here. These are actually their dental pick set. Uh, which I like better than their the O-ring picks that Harbor Freight has, as well as the Harbor Freight. These are the uh, you know modeling clay, molding, and carving tools, but they are actually excellent as O-ring picks. So we're going to spend a minute talking about these. And uh, I even found this thing. These little keychain things from tool companies are always kind of cool, and I found this one from Husky. This is an older uh, Maiden USA. It's like a little flathead screwdriver kind of keychain thing in the shape of a... Uh, uh, husky dog's head, so I always kind of think these things are cool. Anyway, starting off with these O-ring picks, we'll just start off with the acetate handle craftsmans. It seems that the acetate handle ones are uh, a little bit r more rare, but I really have liked these craftsmans. I like them so much, I actually bought a second set, uh, so I do have a spare set of these. Um, but these would be the standard size and the four standard types of shapes that you get with O-ring picks is a right angle pointed hook. You have this offset kind of... Uh, V grave V groove style uh, pick. You have a standard straight pick, which and these are hardened steel. They can be used as scratch alls and that kind of thing. And then we have a regular hook. And these things are great for everything from wiring connectors to fishing out small objects. Really pretty nice. These also do have some knurling on near the base of the handle, and it's pretty decent. And the Craftsman's have always been kind of a standard unit. Then we have the Tectons, and the reason I did get these Tectons, besides that they were cheap, uh, I don't believe the steel is as good as the Craftsman, but these aren't bad units. What I really liked about them is they had these nice little dimples, uh, these little flexible dimples on the rubber overmold. They are rubber overmolded, and those little dimple systems here actually work pretty well. When your hands are slick, they provide a lot of purchase and a lot of extra grip. And uh, they are pretty comfortable to use, and they're a little easier uh, when your hands are greasy. And then they're, of course, the same style, except for that the V-Groove hook has a real long point versus a short point on the Craftsman. And then, of course, they're also knurled, although uh, the knurling on these, I think, is placed in a better location. It's a little bit more ergonomic, because it's right where your fingers want to go, as opposed to the Craftsman's here, where it's a little close. It's not too bad, but you just don't have quite as good of a purchase on these as where they put the knurling on the tectons. So I will mention that. Um, and these tectons have really worked out great. And I'm trying to go through this a little bit quicker so I don't spend forever talking about multiple copies of the same tool. We also have this, which is the Napa, I believe, Napa KD uh, Long o-ring pick set and i really like these because they have real thick beams these are actually really nice and strong because of their longer handles the knurling being up close uh is pretty nice they use hex aluminum pressed on handles and then they have these little rubberized boots textured boots that go over the end of them so they aren't too bad um what i really like about these nappas is that they are both extended as well as being uh very strong and rigid steel and having extra thick the thickness of these is a little bit more than it is on the craftsman or significantly more i don't know if we can really excuse me tell here but it's about 20 percent thicker and you really notice that and these long ones have actually been quite handy if you do transmission work then uh these are the type of picks that you want, ones that really have a lot of reach. It also seems that when you get in these long picks, the V-groove style kind of changes to where it's bent over, then it has a secondary bend uh, at approximately 90 degrees to the first bend. So it's a little easier to get into a groove, kind of pick the O-ring out and get under it when you're in a deeper bore. And then, of course, we have the hook and the point and then the standard right angle. Um, but I do recommend getting both a short and a long set. And if you can get a long set, definitely consider these Nappas. The only thing that's odd is for some reason, the knurling on this one, it seemed to get overrun pretty badly. Otherwise, the knurling is pretty uh, nice and high quality, what you would expect from Napa and good quality steel. I really have liked those long ones. So I picked up this cheap set of uh, IITs. These are real cheap. These are kind of like a cheap version of a Tectin. And they're just carbon steel, but they work pretty well. The reason I picked these up is because, really, it was a six-piece set, uh, and they were super cheap. And I kind of like some of the unique shapes, the extra shapes that they 
they, they included with these, excuse me. And as is standardized, they do have knurling at the base of the handles. I really like that manufacturers are paying attention to that. And we, of course, have the standard hook. And these are long, so I like those as well. We have our right angle hook here, or just our right angle. We have our pointed, which is definitely pretty handy when they're long, just like the Napa's. These do have pretty thick shanks and are pretty rigid, so these aren't bad. They don't feel quite as rigid as the Napa's, but they're not bad at all. And then we have the V-Groove style, but on this one, it's just huge. And I thought, well, that could be inconvenient in some situations, but it is uh, something that you might want in others, because that, when you get an O-ring down on a board, that's a nice deep groove that will hold it so you can pull it out. And so I did appreciate that, the difference in design. And then it came with, and what I liked about it is it included a V-groove, kind of like a bigger version of this Craftsman. As well as ones that are like this Napa, which has a modified V-groove, I'd say. And that's this one here where it's bent over. It's just bent over at a far more steeply than the Napa one is. And those are unique differences. Surprisingly enough, you may find that you just can't get quite the right angle with like this Napa one. But this IIT one that's a little bit sharper uh, will give you the right angle. And that's one of the reasons I would buy, I buy multiple sets when I see that they're different is because there'll be those situations where it just makes it a little bit easier if it just has a little bit of a different or modified end from the, the cool tool I'm currently using. And so it just increases the usefulness and versatility when you can look at a bunch of o-ring picks and and have a few of them with you and just be able to have just the right one to really get under that o-ring you're always supposed to replace o-rings when you pull them out but you're not always able to for a variety of reasons and so having a just the right shape pick will allow you to get into the o-rings and uh not poke through them or dam or do as little damage as possible when you're removing them so i did like that about this one where it's bent over more steeply and then it has the same 90 degree little point or hook on the end and then they had this one which i really like this was an interesting shape because this is like a double bend so like a large arc and i find that this one's actually pretty handy just by itself moving on to the u.s general pick set here these are were just sold as a three simple three-piece set and they had the double bend Although this double bend's interesting because it's not the tip, second bend at the tip is only, you know, five degrees as compared to the first bend. And then a hook and then a, this point. Now these are much thinner than any of the other picks here, but they do have nice pressed on neural aluminum handles and with little hex caps. And these really are the, you know, U.S. they used to be U.S. general, but these were still when they were made in America. I don't know if they still sell these or if they're still made in the States. Uh, but they're nice as just a small, more compact, kind of fine pick. Uh, these are great for getting into electrical connectors. Where it seems the thicker picks have a, some trouble, these are pretty nice just to be able to work your way in and release any kind of plastic catches. It was just interesting as a three-piece set, and it didn't include the uh, pointed, uh, I could say, scratch-all or spike tool. But I did really like how they were built. So that's kind of what the U.S. General looks like. Now, these are the Harbor Freight Dental Picks, is what I call them. And they are actually not bad. They're steel handles with really aggressive knurling. I really did like that about them. You really can grip them well. And then these are for real tight spaces. I, or I use them for tight spaces. They are not particularly strong. These wires are definitely uh, the weakest out of all the tools here. But the deal is, is once again, just a bunch of unique shapes. Kind of like this one. We have the spike. We have... Uh, this kind of, it's not a hook, but it's a, a large arc. Then we have the bent over tip. I should say bent over angled tip. And I think I, I damaged the very fine edge, but it was just a V-groove tip. And of course the right angle, but it kind of makes a jog in the right angle. And so these I use for the same thing, digging out O-rings. And, uh, and just aware not to really use these on higher force situations, such as releasing electrical connectors, because they can get bent pretty easy. But these have been pretty nice when you need uh, a little bit more finesse, because versus all the other O-ring pick tools, these, you can, you're real close to the working edge. You have the nice handle, which you can brace against your hand like this, and you can really get a lot of control digging in and uh, controlling the tip and manipulating that O-ring or seal or whatever you're trying to remove. 
And uh, I've really liked these. And it's just being aware that they're not particularly strong. But with versus all these other picks, this just gives you or gives me and would give you if you got some uh, more available options for having just the right shape. Moving on, we have these Harbor Freight tools. We have a couple other unique things I built up. I don't, not exactly sure what this is, but it's been uh, just another unique shape for digging out O-rings. This is an actual German-made uh, stainless steel uh, dental, t you know, pick tool, and I've used this for O-rings just because I really like the way the f it has one flat side and, or excuse me, I should say, one kind of V groove with the flat, and then just an angled side here. So you can use it, and if one side doesn't work for you, you can flip it over. Dental picks actually are pretty good for that. And that's what attracted me to these Harbor Freight carving tools. These are like uh, clay or modeling clay carving tools. They're stainless steel. They aren't manufactured the most consistently. I did have to go through several pa uh, packages on the shelf to find ones that really look nice, well made. And that's particularly with the shaping of the tips. But these things have just been excellent for me. Uh, I really like them. They're actually pretty rigid and strong for being used as carving tools, so they're great for O-rings. And some of the shapes aren't so useful for O-rings, such as like this little spoon shape. But you have like these little, you know, spade points and a spoon on that one. This one is kind of like a blunt knife, which you can, the little round edge, you can actually pop next to an O-ring and pop it out. These are the ones I really use uh, when I need know I need to reuse the O-ring because they don't have any sharp points or edges to... Uh, damage or poke holes in those o-rings and this one's been one of the greatest because it isn't just the uh, knife point but it's this little kind of spoon rounded lever that's kind of bent over this thing is great for just getting up under an o-ring and popping it out and you're not so worried about causing any damage or damaging the uh, seat that it's in even if it's in brass or aluminum uh, because of the nice rounded edge and then being stainless steel and a little bit thicker these things are actually nice and rigid uh, really like these. Harbor Freight still does sell these, so I definitely recommend them. This little spoon tool alone makes the whole set worth it. And then we have one that's more like that dental tool I showed you, just a little uh, spatula on a V-groove. And then the other side is the spatula turned 90 degrees, and this thing's nice because you can, come, you can be straight and you can get under the O-ring and pop it up. Once again, with a nice rounded edge, so you're not worried about uh, causing any damage. Then we have what here is a small knife and a small spade. And then this is like a spatula style. Um, and you can see a little bit of the inconsistency where that wasn't ground uh, completely straight, but a lot of the cases were even worse. I did. I don't know if I mentioned, but these are stainless steel, so they do not corrode. You can see that the knurling on this one barely made it, barely made it at all, versus most other tools, the knurling's pretty decent. Um, this wide spatula here has also been pretty handy. These are these are also great for electrical connectors because these wider surfaces really allow you to get under release catches, and because they're more rigid and a bit stronger, you're not so worried about bending them. And then we have this last style, which I've also used a few times, which is a curved spade, as well as a curved spatula. This thing is so nice. You're just able to work it right under the edge of the O-ring, and it just wants to pop right up with absolutely, basically no evidence whatsoever that you've caused any damage to it. And these things have been tumbled, uh, so there are no sharp edges anywhere on them. So actually, these Harbor Freight carving tools I would say are by far their best set of uh, O-ring picks. Anyway, that was kind of the end of this long review and comparison of the various different O-ring picks. Mainly, I just wanted to compare the different brands and my impressions of their quality, but really to show the variety of different tip styles and how even tools like these carving tools uh, are much more applicable to things like O-ring picks than even many O-ring picks themselves are. And the fact that when you do have a variety of them, now you're not just saying trying to make one set of picks do all the work for you. You just say, okay, I can't quite reach. We can use some long ones, or I just need that one special shape and it allow me to get the perfect angle at it. And that's kind of the purpose of this. And the nice thing about O-ring picks is they tend to be um, among the cheaper tools. So even everything on this table, you know, all the Harbor Freight stuff, all these different brands was like, less than 50 bucks for all of these o-ring picks and so you know i am a tool collector but it is nice just to have a good selection that's why i kind of recommend them 
Also, oftentimes you're using them to try to pick out something that's not an O-ring, Eclipse, other things like that, and they the tips do snap and, and get damaged. And it's always unfortunate when you damage a tip and then you're stuck trying to go out and buy another set rather than just using another one that you happen to have on hand or maybe a stronger one because you broke a slightly weaker ones. Or maybe you bent the shank. So that's the nice thing about the O-ring picks is you do get some nice quality tools. Uh, but you don't have to be quite so ginger with them because they are uh, more budget conscious. And if you do have the right variety of picks, then you're less likely to bend or damage them because you're going to be using more of the right tool for the right job. Anyway... That's the end of this review and comparison of O-ring picks from Caddis Maximus. And I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.